Okay, I want to stop there a bit. Go back there. And I was talk, when I was talking to Uncle Ralph yesterday, he said to me, he's make sure he's going brrr, tch, 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 loud. Brrr, tch, tch, tch. He said he, he, he specifically stop, stop. told me that yesterday. Brrr, tch, 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 tch. My name's Doug Gordon. I have a Delroy, been here for about 14, 15 years. My culture it means everything to me. Um, we've been taking the boys for the last I have different groups over the last four or five years. We've learned about our traditional uh, dances and things like that. And I'd like to pay my respects to the other people who taught the boys how to dance. And we're on the Radjuri country. Obviously, we've got to learn Radjuri dances. Um, my uncle Ralph Naden, he was a big uh, influence in what I do with the boys. And Boogie. 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 That means mate or friend. Boogie. How you going, Boogie? That means don't be ashamed. It's only Bell's gonna go, we're just gonna do a regular welcome, okay? Group, yeah, I've been taking it for about this, this group here for the last 18 months, like since all last year. And um, and but we've had a few changes. The boys know if they obviously they're only students and young boys, and they do the wrong thing, they've got to pay a, a small price. But they're not kicked out of the group; they can earn their way back into the group. And we just take it very seriously what they do because this is our, our culture. And our culture, if you've got no culture, what else have you got? One of the greatest attributes I have people as that no one else talks. If I'm talking, no one else talks. If you're talking, Troy is talking, you don't say words, and you don't do any, everything out of your hand, or as long, as long as you're not playing them, okay? Um, uh, my name is Michael Bunny. My name is Charlie Shaw. Sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Brent Kelly. Hello, I'm John. How long have you been dancing with Doug for? Uh, about a year so now. I danced with Doug for about a year. Yeah. I've been in here for about three quarters of a year now. Yeah. And why did you choose to dance with Doug? I love my culture and I want to learn more about it. I'm in the group. Give more culture, know about culture and that. More about culture. I want to learn more dance. I want to learn as much as I can. I love my culture and I want to learn more about it. And what do you guys do when you um, meet Doug? Well, we practice, talk about what's been happening and how we can fix it if there's a problem. Uh, we learn about our culture and dance. Uh, we practice dancing, statutes, assemblies. What dances are the boys doing today? Uh, first, we're going to do the Radio Welcome. Uncle Ralph Naden taught us to do that. The Porcupine Dance, you know our emu, the dance about the emu. We do the eight step, and the show off dance, and, and shake a shake a leg. What's the difference between the red lap lap and the black uh, lap? Just uh, because I'm the oldest follower in the group. And the fastest. And the fastest. And the prettiest. Oh, differently. <laughs> Can you explain to me what you're doing? Crushing up to put some on our body. What is it? I was wanting to get crushing up. I like a boy. <laughs> Yeah, this is a sort of we um, mark it made up just sort of oh, pay respects to the people who, who, who were scarred and yeah. the tribal days and the scars that was left by children being taken away. We're just going to use the white because I'm not too sure. I've still got to talk to other elders about using different colours and what they're doing. So we're just going to stick with what's safe and what we know so we don't. Um, in, you know, unintentionally um, <laughs> upset anyone. Hey, 
Dus dat zijn zwarte opslakken. Stom, hoe die ding dat ik heb goed nodig. Ah, zo is het niet. Dit is voor alle. Oké. En dus een duimpje voor. Kijk uit wat het kijk uit wat het gaat. Dat is gewoon een klein app. That's what the gun should be for stage there. Eh? Mm -hmm. Big jigs, so I had to give a couple of rest, and we got a couple of new fellows there, so they got to pay the price. Hey. How long usually are they not allowed to be a part of the Well, they've got to earn their way back. Like, I, I, I don't know from reports around the school, if they go good even for the first week back, they can come back. That's one of them from the outside. And if I can show that they've been doing in class, and then they work and show respect, and well, they can come straight back. <laughs> Nagali, how long have you been playing for? About two years. You started practicing circle breathing at the beginning of the year, did you say? No, I, first time I, I started playing a ditch and my dad taught me how to circle breathe and do a sound and And it's hard, yeah? Yep, very <laughs> How often would you guys perform? Like every month, how many times on average? Yeah, maybe we have a time we perform a couple times a week, maybe once a week. Sometimes you make three or four months. I couldn't care less if the worst dancer. I'm not a good, very good dancer myself. But the thing is, I want to get painted up and, and tell people who I am. That's what I try to teach your kids. When you, when you um, get painted up, you become a different person. You should, be, should feel the power that you've got to be a role model for the kids underneath you. And then the little kids are coming through as far as swearing, drugs, alcohol, being abusive. This is the forefront of what I try to do with these kids. They're, going to, they're not going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. But when they make the wrong choice, which I've done over the years, I'm going to be there to try to point them in the right direction. What's the main thing this group is about? Discipline and respect. And also, uh, di discipline and respect, and also be proud to be Aboriginal. <laughs> Thank you.